Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Sorry I'm a little late posting a video today, but I'm glad to be here now. We had a little bit of family time today. We played a board game. So I'm not going to say no to spending time with my family. <clears throat> As they're getting older, I realize that there's less and less time for those kind of things. So I really need to take advantage of that when they happen. So I've been starting my... Um, videos with a question of the day, and I've been really enjoying getting to know each of you better. I hope that you've been enjoying it too, and thank you to all of you who participate and, you know, who are part of this channel. Thank you, everybody, and if you're not part of this channel, I'd love to have you join our little family by just clicking subscribe and uh, notifications when there's new videos so that we can stay in touch and you know, keep our friendship going. So today's question of the day is, have you ever had a nickname? And my name is Heather, which was a very, very common name when I was growing up. Um, when I was in elementary school, there was Heather B, C, D, and S <laughs> in my class. And then it only grew as I went more because the elementary schools all went together for the middle school and then from middle school to high school. So I want to say, I didn't count in my yearbook, but I think there was something like 12 Heathers in my class by the time I graduated from high school. So my name was never Heather. You know, I was either Heather B. That, that's what my maiden name was. And another nickname that I had was Bergy because it was similar to my maiden name. Um, it's not the exact maiden name, but so I was called either Heather B or Bergy. And when in high school, I was always very embarrassed when somebody would call down the hallway, Heather. And I was not the most popular person in school. I was a bandy, you know, all that stuff. So if I looked, it was never for me. And so I would, if I would catch myself looking, I'd always be mad at myself. Like, why did you look? Of course it wasn't for you. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's, that's how it goes when you have a common name. So today is Square Saturday, and I've been doing motifs from this book called um, Beyond the, I, I should have it memorized by now, Beyond the Square Crochet Motif. And I will put a link to Amazon for this book. And just so you know, I know if you've been watching, you already know this spiel, but if you're new here, I'm not receiving any kind of commission for selling this book or talking about this book. It's a book that I had sitting on my shelf for about 20 years. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to go through and make each of the motifs from the book with you, just for fun. I The people who wrote this book don't even know I exist. So um, this is basically just for fun. Today I'm doing motif nine and motif 10. They're not, there are no special names for each of the motifs. They're just numbered. So let me see if I can show you a picture of this without revealing the pattern. And I have to be careful because they also, they have the written pattern and the picture pattern in here. So I don't want to reveal either. Sorry. So this is motif nine. I don't want to give away too much here, so. I know it's not the best angle. And here's how my motif number nine turned out. And it's really, really pretty. I think this middle part pops a little more on mine because I used a brighter color. Their color scheme was light green, dark green, and then red. And they had um, the these rows here red. So everything else is green on theirs. So the one row does kind of pop a little bit more on mine, but it's very, very pretty. And not really too difficult to make. So far they have been pretty easy, quick, I almost said recipes, um, patterns. So then here's 10. And again, I'm sorry this takes a minute here, but I wanna make sure I'm not showing the pattern. Oops, I don't wanna show the other pattern either. I'm gonna to have to look at that and make sure I didn't reveal anything. 
So that's 10. And here's my 10. And again, I think some of the colors make it pop a little differently, but this is really pretty. It's kind of frilly. I like the way it turned out. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with all of these when they're done. I'm happy to hear suggestions. I don't know what I'm gonna actually do, but one of your suggestions might really kind of spark something in me to, to know what to do with these when I'm done with them. So anyway, this, again, this was from the book Beyond the Basic Square, Crochet Motif by Edie Ekman. And uh, I'll have a link to that in my description. If you're interested, uh, no pressure if you're not interested, it's just, um, just for fun. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you for joining me. And again, if you're not subscribed and you wanna be part of our family, please click the subscribe button and keep in touch and feel free to answer the question of the day. Have a great night.